Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalaran and we got the best update that we could have had this week. I felt like maybe this update came a little bit too late. I really wish it would have happened Tuesday or Wednesday, but it happened on a Thursday over for the NA. Patch 9.1 finally has a release date. And Blizzard also put up quite a bit of content over on the main website. Some of the things for us to consider in terms of the content that will be covered. I want to make a more detailed video about all these things. So I guess this is a video talking about the 9.1 release. Some of the things to be expected. And also what I'm planning to do when it comes to 9.1 coverage. I definitely want to make far more detailed videos in terms of everything that's coming out for 9.1 right before it drops. But anyway, let's take a look at the announcement that I feel like a lot of us have been waiting for. We almost felt like this one was going to happen for a month or two or maybe another year. But it's finally here, patch 9.1. Let's get the big news out of the way. It is dropping on June 29th for the NA servers and June 30th for the EU servers. So it's happening in less than two weeks. So it's actually kind of quicker than I expected. Some people have thought middle of July, maybe even all the way in August. But it looks like the early leaks we had with this one Chinese streamer talking about how he met with the people at NetEase. The day that he dropped during the uh, the leak, quote unquote, a lot of people didn't really know if it was or not, would have put this patch to be released on June 29th. And it looks like that leak turned out to be true, which I think is a good thing. A lot of us have been waiting for a while with this patch. This first patch of Shadowlands has been a very long one. Pandemic caused a delay for the actual release of the expansion and most likely has caused the reason why we're delaying patch 9.1 in a sense. But it also does put in question in terms of just how prepared is Blizzard for the future patches. I think that could be a video for the next one, but we definitely were in this one for a while. I think a lot of people are excited to get some new stuff and it's good that it's not coming out in a month or two. It's good that it's just coming out in less than two weeks we also should take a look at the raid unlocks the raid is going to be unlocking on starting july 6th for normal and heroic difficulty then afterwards the next week july 13th raid find wing one for targru eye of the jailer and the nine and also mythic difficulty for the raid is unlocked on july 27th is raid wing finder 2 for soul render remnant as well as paintsmith then august 10th is raid finder week three for guardian Fate Scribe and Kel'Thuzad and the week of August 24th is going to be LFR Wing for Sylvanas Windrunner. So the raid itself looks actually pretty good. I cannot wait to sink my teeth into it. I've been very, very excited for the raid to finally get to us because some of the fights and some of the mechanic changes are looking really exciting. It also looks like Blizzard has a more sensible skip for this raid and it looks like the item drops from Kel'Thuzad himself. We're not sure if you'll be able to skip all the bosses up to Kel'Thuzad or even skip past Kel'Thuzad and just get straight to Sylvanas once you unlock the skip because eventually you'll have the whole instance farmed out on Heroic and eventually at some point maybe even Mythic. So to be able to skip to the final boss or even the final two is a lot better than what they did with Kassanathria where you had to defeat the first boss, then you had to do afterwards Sludge, then SLG, arguably the hardest boss of the whole instance, then Denathrius himself. Another thing to also note is Blizzard put up a blip post that for PvPers, Season 1 Enchant is going to be gone next season. Apparently they're going to be replacing it with another Enchant going forward, but if you wanted this Maw-esque Enchant right now, you have to get it currently. So if you still haven't gotten your 2100 achievement and you don't have your Enchant right now, you might want to go get it immediately. We don't have any clue what the Season 2 Enchant is going to look like. They didn't have anything data mined before and it's actually kind of exciting and refreshing to see that blizzard is doing another different enchant a different appearance hopefully it'll be at least somewhat different looking hopefully it won't be like a similar enchant where it's all dark and moy and smoky but it'll have maybe like an extra effect to it or something either way it's still really cool combined with some of the other pvp changes they're doing for a variety of different specs and classes going into the next season this definitely should be pretty exciting it does seem like that there are some data mine cinematics also in the files for patch 9.1 that are overall together about seven minutes worth of watch time. We don't really know what these cinematics are going to be. Is it going to be maybe like introductory cinematic or both defeating Sylvanas cinematic or something in between throughout the story of patch 9.1. So we've had a lot of cinematics that have been spoiled, whether it is on Wahead, whether it is with YouTube videos, but this one hasn't been spoiled. The uh, three cinematics that they have so far have not been, so it's going to be interesting what it's going to be like. It could be similar to what they did with Sarfang and the deaths of Sarfang back during BFA. So it could be like a really well-rendered CGI cinematic with some story elements added to it. 
very excited to see what that'll look like from the lore perspective whether you're someone who likes the lore and the story stuff that's been told in shadowlands or not i do like to see kind of where the story is going and that could maybe potentially give us a hint of what the next expansion might be like it's definitely worth making a more detailed version of the different topics that i want to cover in this video but if you're not aware of patch what patch 9.1 is bringing or maybe you're someone who checked out for let's say 9.0 and you've been waiting for the new stuff and you haven't been keeping up with wowhead posts or update videos or anything like that and you're just wondering what does the new patch have in store for us some of the things you'll have is first of all brand new zone of Corthia. it is a kind of slightly smaller zone that i think we've had in some of the previous expansions definitely smaller than Nezhatar, in my opinion kind of the size of mechagon or so but that combined together with some of the assaults happening in the maw as well as a lot of the catch-up elements that will be gotten from Corthia, the secrets you can unlock, the story stuff that you can do, as well as a lot of the other features that are added for some of the vendors in Corthia. If anything, it's definitely going to be a place you will want to go to because some of the story elements are going to be linked to some of the core features of patch 9.1. You have a pretty massive revamp towards some of the uh, soulbinds and legendaries for the covenants, so this should probably shake up the meta quite a bit. We've already seen a lot of classes trying out different covenants and it looks like the meta is ever changing right now. There's a lot of different funky combinations like carrying warriors on the rise, Venthyr or Boomkins are starting to get stronger. So there's going to be a lot of stuff added in terms of the different soul bind changes as well as the covenant legendaries that open up specific powerful builds you might be able to run in raids or mythic pluses. So there's quite a lot that's being shifted around for the next patch and that's definitely pretty exciting. A new mega dungeon has been added called Tezavesh the Veiled Market. It's an 8 boss dungeon with a lot of cool things. It has this aesthetic of the brokers and I really enjoyed the fights. Some of the gear from there looks really cool. Stylistically, it looks fantastic for some of the mugs you want to pick up. There's even a hard mode version for this dungeon, a mount to go along, I think, with the hard mode, a lot of other rewards for you to pick up as well. So Tezavet should be a pretty fun experience for many of you, and most likely will be added towards the Mythic Plus experience going to the next season. But right now, it should be a pretty great amount of catch-up gear for any of those that are not 226 just yet. PvP is getting a massive revamp for patch 9.1. We've covered that extensively, I felt like, whether it's through the duels, showing off some of the different honor talents, or me trying to cover every single honor talent change to try to show off it as much as I can. But I think a whole comprehensive video for every PvP change might be on the horizon of this channel. It's been really cool to see some of the things Blizzard has been added. I mean, they've added some really out-of-the-box things, like Frost Mages are able to build literal frost walls that you can't bypass unless you destroy them, or if the mage cancels it there's a lot of cool things that they added that's definitely going to shake up the meta and a lot of other specs that normally don't really pvp much might actually get quite a lot of pvp time we talked about the raid earlier but that's there season 2 mythic plus is opening with a brand new affix tormented allowing you to bring certain anima powers from torgas into your dungeons pvp season with new adaptable gear that's going to scale in pvp not class scaling, but your gear is going to jump in levels, making PvP gear much better for PvP. Flying is getting unlocked, more renowned levels, more story stuff, variety of different toys, mounts, and transmogs to collect. So patch 9.1 is looking like it's packed with a lot of things, and I've been enjoying testing it, and I cannot wait for it to become a real patch for us to play on. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Patch 9.1 is coming out June 29th for the NA servers, and I cannot wait. So hopefully you guys are excited. Definitely going to be doing more thorough coverage videos going forward for some of the stuff going into 9.1 to make sure you guys are up to date. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.